We're often asked whether the OPIC is digital or analog, and the answer is a bit of both. The audio path in the OPIC is 100% analog. Everything from the sensors themselves, how they detect the string motion, the amplifiers inside, all the electronic filters inside, all the way to the output jack, everything is 100% analog. But the electronics are controlled digitally. So you might wonder, how does that work? And there's a lot of examples of that in our everyday life. Uh, for example, a modern oven. It's an analog device. The gas or electricity comes into the oven to provide the heat. But there's a computer built into your oven that controls the gas valve or the amount of electricity going through to adjust the temperature. That's a good example. Another example is a whole bunch of uh, modern analog synthesizers that are out on the market. If you're familiar with synthesizers from companies like Moog and Korg, they make analog synthesizers that are digitally controlled. So again, in, the, in a device like that, the audio path is 100% analog, but you can program sounds, you can adjust the settings. You can think of it like having a robot to turn the knobs for you. The robot's digital, but all the electronics themselves are analog.